In this video we will talk about Maxwell materials and how to manage them. Open the sample scene and select camera 1 to get a close-up view. Open the Photo Rendering Settings panel and set Maxwell Render as the rendering engine. Set the render resolution to 800 by 600, the render time to 1 minute and set the film ISO to 50. Open the Materials panel in the Elements Attributes menu. This will open the Material Editor. Create a new material or use the Maxwell Cup 1 generic material that is already in the scene. Select Maxwell as the rendering engine to convert it to a Maxwell material. The Maxwell material attributes are displayed. You can load a ready-made MXM file or choose a material from a material types list. Tick the metal checkbox to create a metal material. Set its roughness to a medium value like 50. Hit photo rendering projection to render the scene in Maxwell render. Metals are quite easy to create. The higher the roughness, the more diffuse the material will be. The lower the roughness, the smoother and more reflective the material will be. Open the Material Editor and edit the Maxwell Cup 1 material we have created in the previous step. Set its roughness to 0. This should create a perfectly smooth, mirror-like material. Render the scene. Remember that the lower the roughness, the smoother and more mirror-like the surface will be. Now we are going to create a glass material. Open the material editor, edit the previous material and tick the dielectric type checkbox. A dielectric is a material with a certain amount of transparency, a transparent material. The ND parameter refers to the refraction index of the transparent material. Set it to 1.5 as that is the refraction index of common glass. You can also set the distance you want this material to be transparent before attenuating and becoming opaque. Set this distance to 1000 mm to create a very transparent material. Choose green as the surface color to produce a green tinted glass and render the scene. Producing a glass material is quite easy. You just have to choose the dielectric type, set the refraction index 1.33 for water and 1.5 for common glass, set the attenuation distance and the color. The areas where the object is thinner look more transparent, while the thicker areas look more opaque, depending on the set attenuation distance. Caustics are very accurate and calculated automatically. Back in Archicad, we are going to create a textured material for the tablecloth. Duplicate the current material and name it Maxwell Table. Choose the diffuse material type. In the texture panel, browse to and load a texture file from the file dialog box. You can adjust the size, position, rotation and tiling of the image map. Use the Object Selection Settings panel to assign the new material to the table object. Make a test render.
The Maxwell Material Wizard allows you to create simple materials by choosing a type diffuse, plastic, metal, dielectric and emitter. For a higher level of control or to create more sophisticated materials you should use the external Maxwell Material Editor and import the material you have created into Archicad afterwards. The Maxwell Material Editor allows you to create layered materials with displacement, bump and normal mapping, coatings and subsurface scattering to produce more complex and advanced materials and save them as an MXM file. The most interesting resource to start learning about materials is the Maxwell Material Gallery. You can download thousands of free, physically correct materials and use them in your project. Enter the MXM Gallery at resources.maxwellvendor.com. All contents are free. You just need to register to be able to download materials. Find an interesting and useful material and download it. You can use the downloaded material as is or modify it to fit your needs. For this example we have found an interesting polyurethane resin material and downloaded it for our project. Edit the cup material using the materials panel and choose the load MXM option. Browse to the folder with the downloaded MXM file and load it. This will load the material definition and texture maps, if needed, from the downloaded file to your scene. Render the scene. Notice how easy it is to create simple materials with Maxwell Render. The MXM Gallery is a valuable resource to find materials to use in your project and to learn about them. For further information and to learn how to create more sophisticated materials, please check the Maxwell Manual.